Hello and welcome to a short-ish video on the famous grey seal colony on the Lincolnshire coast which I shot over about two days in November 2022. We'll start with the pups relaxing because they're just absolutely adorable. Um, wonderful, beautiful, beautiful things. And they start pure white being about 14 kilos when they're born but living on a diet of their mother's milk which is up to 60 percent fat it takes them less than a month to treble their weight and in that period they also lose their white coat so within a month of birth they are ready to go to sea The beach is pretty loud, as you can hear, and can have hundreds of pups, cows and bulls in breeding season. Here's a nice sort of general view showing all the sizes and ages and levels of activity going on in a portion of the colony at the peak breeding season. Grey seals are capital breeders, meaning they forage extensively before the breeding season in order to build up large amounts of energy reserves as stored blubber, which they then use on the beach while they're breeding and weaning their pups. Neither parent forage during this time. Having said that, mothers provide all the parental care and the bulls on the beach are fighting for harems in order to father as many of next year's pups as possible. Nevertheless, both sexes are starving themselves during the breeding season, so the ability to lay down lots of blubber before the, the period on the beach as a result of effective foraging is very important for successful reproduction. Mothers are fertile from the age of four onwards and can live to about 30. As you can see, there is genuine affection between pups and their mothers, although in some cases the mothers seem to get fairly pissed off with their offspring and will usher them away. In some cases, barreling right over their young in the process, which looks pretty stressful for the little adorable pup involved. Mothers, however, are very intolerant of other cows who are encroaching on their personal bit of beach or, and equally, are very intolerant of another pup trying to suckle from them, because that would represent an incredible waste of valuable milk. To finish the section on the fostering period, uh, here's a few more clips of the affection and sometimes not affection between the mothers i.e. the cows and their pups it's really really lovely to see The adults have a lot of time to kill, especially the females, and so there's quite a lot of grooming and stretching and sleeping that goes on at the colony.
Males, on the other hand, the dominant ones at least, are constantly on the lookout for potential females to mate with and for potential rivals who will want to kick them off their particular bit of beach. A dominant successful male is sometimes known as a beach master. British grey seal bulls average 230 kilos, so some of the larger ones here will be up about 250, maybe even 270. They are really huge animals. They can swim at at least 20 kilometres an hour underwater, but I'm really impressed, frankly, by how fast they can move across land. They may be covered in blubber, but there's a huge amount of muscle under the surface, and I reckon they were probably reaching 8 or 9 kilometres an hour across the beach. A really impressive achievement. The bulls only reach this speed, of course, when they are sprinting across the beach um, in order to batter the le living S star star T out of a rival, um, which they do fairly regularly in order to compete for as large a harem of females as possible. Many seal species are polygynous is the proper word otherwise known as harem breeding systems and this can classically lead to the sexual dimorphism that we see in the grey seal with the females being about 65 percent the weight of the males this is the case in the grey seal in the elephant seals the uh, ratio between males and females in terms of weight can be as high as five or six fold um, they are the record holders for sexual dimorphism amongst the mammals i really wanted to leave in a lot of the fighting behavior on the beach so this bit of the video is quite long but it's just such a wonderful experience that i wanted to share You will notice that quite a lot of the fights are between a male and a female. This is likely to be either a female uh, putting off an unwanted suitor, as is the case in brown hairs as well. Hairs boxing is the same thing going on. Or it could be a female keeping a male away from a pup, because males will barge all over the beach and don't seem to take a notice, any notice, of whatever they roll over. So one of those two things are probably going on.
A lot of the audio from these filming sessions was frankly a bit crap. A combination of people talking um, and the uh, soft tones of an RAF Chinook that was hovering overhead for many minutes um, really didn't help. And also there's the fact that a lot of the action is happening 100 or 150 metres away. Um, the animals are big enough that that's fine for the, the clips but it does mean that you only pick up the sound of what is nearby. So apologies if you're getting bored of the same 35 second audio clip repeated again and again and again. It has to be said that if you're an ambitious seal with plans for the future, you really do have to be happy spending a lot of time lying in mud. And I really enjoyed watching them do this. Here we have a pair mating in a very shallow pool near the public viewing areas. It's very hard work for all of these seals on the beach, really. Um, the pups are having to grow up very, very fast. The mothers are starving themselves to feed their pups. And the males are starving themselves in order to fight for mating success. But I suppose in the end, he who fights then rolls away, lives to fight another day. This video was made as part of trips with the University of Salford Wildlife Documentary Production Master's course, which I can thoroughly recommend. If you have any questions about that course, just drop me a message in the chat. Many thanks for watching and well done for getting to the end. It did go on a bit.